Hello ladies, look at your video. Now back to my video, now back to your video. Does your video have a watermark? I guess not, this is why you're here for this tutorial. So, uh, you need to have a watermark in order to proceed with this tutorial in the first place. If you don't have a watermark, go ahead and create one in Photoshop or Paint, it's up to you. Or you can even just do simple text from Sony Vegas. But I can uh, create, I'm probably going to create another video on how to do detailed watermarks a little bit more step by step. Uh, the best settings for a watermark, the best options in Photoshop. So, if you want to watch that, I'll probably upload it a little bit later today. But this is how to add a watermark to your video. So let's say you imported a video into, pho uh, not Photoshop, what am I saying, into Sony Vegas and you are ready to export it but you don't want somebody on the internet stealing this video and claiming it as theirs. You want to add a watermark, that's what my watermarks are basically for to say hey I did it, only I did it and it's my original idea. So let's go ahead and begin. Import your watermark into the into the project media section and you want to go ahead and on your video right click and press on insert video track and it's going to create a video track right above your original layer the, now this is where you want to drag and drop your uh, your watermark into is this timeline and it, it might appeal appear a small portion of the video just drag it out to the full extent until your video ends and this way it's gonna it won't loop because it's not a video but it's gonna basically repeat itself oh, I just got a text message excuse me but it's basically gonna repeat itself and that that's how it works so uh, what you wanna do now is you may be saying oh Dimitri why is it all over my screen well cuz it's big now wanna press the track motion button on the same layer and if you're wondering what this is this is my first name in Russian so uh, simply click here on the track motion button on the layer that your watermark is set on and you're gonna have a window like this drag uh, grab a corner and pull it down to size it down a bit and once you like it the way it is press and drag it to where you want it if you want it up here sure if you want it down here that's fine too uh, now yours may not be as, as transparent as mine or as small as mine so yours might actually take up some space. You may want to play around with the transparency level by uh, taking the slider and moving it down some which is going to make it uh, less visible and you'll, you'll be able to see the background video a little bit more. So if I just size this up a bit, you can see here that the logo is kind of uh, faded inside and now I don't know how to get back my timeline. Excuse me. There you go. So if you put it up 100%, it stays pretty dark, and it won't. You won't be able to see anything behind it. But if you keep it down a bit, you'll be able to see kind of through it. So that's pretty much it. How you make a watermark inside of Sony Vegas. If you have any questions, put it in the comment sections below. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs up if this helped. Peace out.